this episode. What do you mean, what's the story of this episode? What's the story of Morning Glory? Who's hosting? I'm who's hosting. Editing? Dylan, are you the host? Yeah, I am now. Did, did we even intro this fucking show anymore? I, I haven't been on for like a month. Welcome to Pleasure no. Explosion. With the... No, we don't. Okay, <laughs> don't. I mean, not welcome to Pleasure Explosion. Yeah, yeah. The number one Ooh. talk show podcast on the Explosion Network. This is not the now, podcast you're looking for. Now, what I need everyone to do is fucking Owlash. Did you just like, like you literally had the whole of before you got here to open and get the fizz out of that Coke and you wait until the fucking show starts and then fucking get the full fizz. You're listening to Pleasure Explosion in 4D. You can feel (laughs) Ashley open his can of Coke live. Have we started the episode yet? Yeah, yeah, we we'll start an episode. I need to know about. Um, I want to know here about this Woolworth thing. Like, what, oh, what's like, the story? Like, I've, I haven't heard about it. Just break oh, it down. Like countrywide, nationally, every register crashed in Woolworths. What time? What, what <laughs> time? Yeah. Oh, uh, some point today. I think it was like between four and five, or three and four. Yeah, I think it must have been like four, just after. No, they were four all just uh, at the same time. I left work at four thirty. Mine, mine was working. Yeah, because. Well, yeah, because my. News agencies like right across from Woolworths, and they were just shut in the doors. Oh, really? <laughs> Which is like, yeah. So no more people Fuck, would come I'm in gonna and be not pissed. be able to buy I'm stuff. I'm gonna be really pissed off if that actually happened at work and I wasn't there. I would love to <laughs> get paid. Get paid to do nothing. You're just like God to damn do it. nothing. That's the, it's the dream. I mean, there was one point where I had to open at work and I got called in. Um, I don't know. Like it was a weekend, so I opened at seven. I get there at seven, but the alarms stuck on. It won't just. It won't turn off no matter how many times you press the button. So then I had to call the manager in at the time, and it didn't get turned off until like eleven thirty or, or about to twelve. And all I did all day was stand around just doodling on my phone, just telling people, "Oh, we, you know, it's it's broken." That was a good day. That was a good four hours of pay for doing sweet fuck all. How many angry people were there? Um, you know, a couple, because they think it's, you know, you get the whole, well, when's it going to be done? Yeah. Fuck, I find no. Oh, like, I get that I... work all the time. Oh, sorry, a service down, the guys are currently replacing it, blah, blah, blah. So when, when's, do we have a time limit for when it's going to be back up? No, like, what? I, like, the guys are trying, they're going to get it as soon as possible. I reckon some people honestly think that, especially in the IT field, that everything in IT is fixed with the push of a button. It like is. Well, if you turn it Isn't off it? and on, I hear it yeah. fixes it. Yeah. I hate you all. That's what Except I've heard. Except for you, like Nick. Nick, you didn't say anything. I know you were probably thinking it, but... He's got a look on his face. He's got a look on his face <laughs> of panic. I'm pretty sure if you go listen back to the audio... <laughs> did, he, did he actually say something? <laughs> <laughs> Plausible deniability. <laughs> In my eyes, Nick, you're the golden child of this network, you know? Oh, you're the one you. that can't do no wrong. Thank you. You it's are. true, but thank you. It's the you complete are. opposite of the answer I would give, but I'll uh, I'll allow it. <laughs> I feel like at this point. Um, so were people raging on Twitter about the the Woolworths thing? Well, I don't, I don't think so because I didn't see people was... raging, but apparently there was a lot of mentions on Twitter. A lot of them were jokes. Like I saw one. I went to Woolies and they were shut, so I went to Coles and it looked like all the Coles employees were going to cry because they had to process twice the amount of employees. You fucking would too. That's a, that's a good point. Yeah. Didn't think about that. That would piss me off if like all oh, the coal servos shut and then I got everyone coming to mine or yeah. something. No, but how close is the uh, next closest yeah. petrol station to you? Less than five minutes up the road. <sighs> okay, it's not a coal's one though. It's a United. Oh yeah, United. Is that a problem? Is that a bad thing? Mm, nah, they're pretty shit. It's fine. <laughs> nah, they're pretty shit. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure they get they got done a little while ago about putting ethanol or something in their petrol or something. What like the that. fuck, really? I had a um so a recent thing two weeks ago. This lady comes into work and she walks in. She's like, "You can't have the discounted fuel price on your price board." And I'm like, "What?" She's like. I'm from Queensland, and you're not allowed to have the discounted fuel price on the fuel board. I'm like, well, uh, A, I just work here. B, you're from (laughs) Queensland. You're in Tasmania. The rules are probably a bit different. But she's spinning there. She's like, you're going to get in trouble, blah, blah, blah. And I'm not angry. I'm just telling you so you don't get in trouble. (laughs) I'm like, 
I'm going to report you to the Queensland Board of Trade. The, yeah, there's some fucking weird shit's going on. No, I'll look it up. So, I'm pretty sure they show the discounted prices up here no, as well. I, I, so I, I looked it up. They had been rolling it out yeah. across countrywide, oh, like okay. state by state by state. And we only got ours, our price board changed, so it doesn't show the discounted price anymore um, last week because it only just came into effect in Tassie. But Aren't they were rolling all, out slowly. Aren't you allowed to show the discounted price as long as you show the full price as well? No. No discounted price at all. you got to work oh. it out yourself. It's weird. So it says that, on the board. That's strange. People are fucking well, stupid. How can you not realise that when it says, save four cents a litre, this is the price? It's simple It's simple maths because it says, so at the moment it has save six cents and it has a little piece of um, whatever writing that says price before discount. And below that, it has the current price. Yes. Which, let's say it's $1.49, $1.49. Discounted fuel price six, nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Oh, I worked out the fuel pro- the disc fuck me, that was easy maths. Like it's not hard. <laughs> I, no. Geez. People are stupid. It's like when there's a fire alarm, fire alarm at work and we have to evacuate. They're just fucking mindless, oh, just still God. shopping, pushing shit around, getting shit off shelves. Well, to be fair, half the time it's a uh, Regardless exercise. like ninety nine percent. Regardless of the time. if it's a drill or if it's real, you're, you're supposed to evacuate the store. I know. <sighs> but that's people's reasoning. I wish I love we it. wouldn't tell them to evacuate and they just die. Just natural selection. Natural <laughs> selection. <laughs> because honestly, honestly, if you're not too stupid to evacuate when an alarm's going off, you probably don't really deserve to survive. Really, is it your fault if you like push <laughs> yeah, push somebody down some stairs while you're trying to escape a building? Fun thing: if you're escaping down stairways, you're supposed to leave like um, mobility eight disabled people behind. What? Because <laughs> when, when you're going downstairs, really, it, they teach you this in when you're doing all that kind of courses. Because if you're like you and three people are trying to get like a guy in a wheelchair down the stairs, you're blocking up the passageway of everyone else trying to evacuate. <laughs> that's yeah, natural selection at best, that's isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's just like, well, don't have legs. See you, bud. Boy. Oh, well. Well, they do have legs. They're in the hospitals, they have these, um, like. Maybe. They're like fabric. They're like almost like a sled that you lie out. You wrap the person up in it, and you have to drag it behind you. And because you know, working in hospitals, even though I'm nowhere near patients ever, they you have to do health and safety training for everything. Um, and so they have to train you how to drag those sleighs downstairs. So and the it, head hits everyone on the way yeah, down. Yeah, it's literally, that is the truth of the matter. <laughs> they're like, you go down with them legs first, and you have to keep their legs up at a certain angle. And that's how you control them from like how fast they go down the stairs is the angle. You, you survived hold their the fire, but you got severe brain trauma now. Yeah, it's like I got I got you out. I left some of your blood on the stairs. Somebody else slipped on that blood, but we're fine. We're good. But you're, you're out. out. You're so safe. Fine. Why don't you just use the elevator? <clears throat> <laughs> Are you meant to use an no, elevator in a fire? Not at all. No, yeah. Ashley, bad. Yeah. Bad. Cool, just you confirming. Know, just <laughs> we'll do that. trapped in a, in, a, in a metal box while there's a fire on. Just, you know, sounds like a great time. Speaking Science of... Science says... <laughs> Dylan, you've, you've virtually ridden more elevators than anybody else the last couple of days because watched you play The Impatient, I've never seen, like... There was literally like a five ten minute period where Dylan was just riding in an elevator going up and down floors. Sounds like it Mass was, Effect. It was some of the weird. Yeah, it kind of was like Mass Effect, except for so in Mass Effect, especially like two or three, you do that whole thing where you're like, where the fuck am I supposed to be going again? And you you spend five minutes waiting in a loading screen, walk out to the the room wherever you've gone, and go, fuck, nah, I wasn't here. Get back in the elevator, load for another five minutes. I wasn't here either. Get back in the elevator. <laughs> the fucking impatient. It was like towards the end of the game. And no shit. I'm in this elevator. Click go to top floor because that's what you're supposed to be doing. Loading screen. Loading screen. Loading screen. Get up. The doors try to open. Oh, the doors are stuck. Let's go back down. Loading screen. Loading screen. Get back down. Oh, there's enemies down here. Better close the doors and go to a different floor. Loading screen. Loading screen. I'm like, what the fuck? Who fucking designed this game? And I was like... Oh, wait, it's actually a good developer. Who, what is going on here? Who messed this up? <laughs> Who messed this shit up? Because there's nothing more distracting when you're playing a VR game, especially like a supposed to be intense first person. Yeah, well, yeah, old VR game. No, that's 
not true, not all video games are first person. A first person VR horror game, and you're looking at fucking loading screens to break the, the mood every five seconds. That's exciting. What would you give it out of 10? Oh, off the top of my head, I don't know, like a 5.5 or a 6. I feel I like it it's a shit. thing that it wants you to play it multiple times, though. It does, but it doesn't seem Because there was like a lot of stuff, like. and watching your playthrough, I was so goddamn confused. Is it better it's, than um, that Paranormal Activity one? Uh, I would say it controls worse, but overall it's better. It but controls Paranormal worse? Activity, well, pa- Paranormal Activity had the cool... You could hold down a button and you could kind of swivel as you go. Yeah. And it only got crap when you needed to do a 180. This, mm. this game... <laughs> doesn't have it's like complete you have to rotate always on a 30 degree angle and you can't like move your body to sw- to swivel the re- direction you're moving in whereas you could in paranormal activity so pro- pro- pros and pros and cons yeah to, that's to a miss situations give it a miss as they happen um i want to know a would anyone go to coachella i was trying to watch because there it was on youtube there's youtube streams of it Yes. And I was just trying to find Baychella. bands that I liked on Co- from Coachella. And I was like, there's nothing here that's good. It's, it's like, the same with every festival. I'd only go to it if there's bands that I like, want to see. Yeah. Would any of you ever go to Coachella, though? I'd think about it. Like, if there was a good yeah. collection of bands. If there were free yeah, tickets. I, 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 I wouldn't go out of my way to pay for it. But <clears throat> if I had yeah. the opportunity and the means, then, yeah, I'd probably go. If I became, like, a drug dealer and wanted a big score, yeah. Yeah, I was about to say, because <laughs> it's, it's not just like, is there bands I, I'm playing there? I'm, I'm trying to picture, picture the, the, the mood and the, the you know, you got to fit into the the atmosphere, <laughs> I guess. I'm just going with it. jeans and my ACDC t-shirt. Yeah, you, you're, you fucking fit right in. You're fitting yeah. right in. <laughs> oh, go. really? I thought they were all like... In the festivals where they dress up and all the hippie shit and stuff. Yeah, like no, that. we're being sarcastic. Oh. <laughs> 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 they're all in. They're all in fucking near glowy clothes and glow sticks and what you the know face paints and the, the yeah, 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 yeah. face paints and, and I'd like toplet. I'd want to go to troll people Nick. like you know be like, hey man, do you wanna do you wanna get do you wanna do some stuff? And they'd be like, yeah, dude, go into like a tent, just pull out like a twelve pack of sharpies. Just pour one out, have a sniff. Yeah, well, it, have get a, a sniff, sniff those sharpies. Every festival I've been to, the other people <laughs> haven't really made a big like the other festival girls haven't really made a big impact on my experience at all. Really? Yeah, I feel like the 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 part the biggest part of a festival is not really the music; it's the the people and the atmosphere, though. Part no, of me I said the that, music. Part of me said that I never went to the Soundwave when Soundwave was good. Like, I had the option to go in, like, it's last year, it's second last year, but its lineup was freaking terrible. Um, and then they had. Was it terrible or was it just bands you didn't care for? Because there's. Yeah. No, it looks pretty bad. All the lineups have been pretty good from my recollection. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, see, that's Maybe. what I'm saying. <laughs> Maybe. Probably. The two sound waves I went to then, also were fucking fantastic. It looks pretty fantastic. terrible. Which made me sad. Unlike. Conflict. Conflict. Um, talking about. Music, kind of, segue. I do, I do want to ask, because I haven't asked yet, because I was saving it, hoping I'd be on this show one day when Kieran was on it. Oh recently, Kieran's like, obs- uh, uh, recent Kieran's oh, going out to nightclubs. Oh, you talking about my current obsession? Your current, no, you're just going, going out a lot. Oh, me fu- going out I, a lot? Yeah, yeah I need I to know, know just full details decided. about the, the, the sudden going out a lot. Hold on, before you go on this, I want to know what your obsession is. Oh, okay, I was talking about... I didn't know. Dylan tends to like troll Spotify's and like notices things on Spotify. It's like a single band I'm super in, like obsessed with right now. Oh, this this is the one you tweeted about. Yeah, I tweeted count. about him because I'm that in yeah. love with him. This is why I don't use Spotify, so Dylan can't steal my data. Yeah, Dylan. <laughs> to be fair, Kieran can also just see what I'm listing at all points in it's time. It's often something I have no idea what it is, and I'm just <laughs> like, okay, fair enough. Move along. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no, I thought it was that, but, you know, Greta Van Fleet people, check them out. It's Led Zeppelin, but now it's great. Um, no, that's not a big secret. If you tweeted no. about it in public. I did. I, did. I tweeted about no, it. If that counts. I talk about them a lot. And I no, I want to know about Kieran's nightlife um, slash the nightlife? chef white knife. I just recently decided to be more social, I guess. <laughs> yeah, yeah who are you going out? Why would what you do that? What a decision. <laughs> Cause, cause hold on, hold we on. Were... Did you end up laying pipe? Um, like I tried, was pipe I only laid. had copper pipe and I was like, I don't, mm. 
No, I'm not about that. Wow. The analogy is and lost then, to me at then, some point. Here. No, but then instead of copper pipe, I laid fiber to the premises. People, fiber to the premises. So is that saying you did? I did what I, I um, did what I needed better than the MBN Co could. That's all I'm saying. I'm very confused. <laughs> so, yeah. uh, who are you going out with? Oh, just friends. Just literally just friends. Um, We're not going out with you. Well, I have yeah. other friends. You're not allowed. What? I have other friends that are just like, yeah, I love Bevs. We have Bevs with the boys and, you know, it goes from there. And you have having Bevins with the boys. Bevs. I need to d- describe the places to me. I need the full details. Well, describe. Main, you know, there's the pub, which we had dinner at the Aussie. That one's not too bad. Is there a nightclub in... Took you to is that the one I went to? Yeah, I took you to dinner there. Fucking horrible place. Looked like it was run by <laughs> racists. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's not. Big bunch of wow. hooba-dooba hippies and the no, well, hooba-dooba no, country music, fucking shindig, don't like black people, motherfuckers. <laughs> well, someone's not going well, there again. okay, sure. I won't take you there again. Um, I'll tweet this episode to him. Yeah, yeah that's fine. you do it. That's okay, sure. Regular. Kieran Marchant <laughs> approves there's, of this there's message. There's like the... I don't know how to describe it anymore. I used to describe it as like the hipster bar. Yahoo. I'm going to full details. Yahoo sounds hipstery. Yes. I don't know if you can call a hipster bar well, Yahoo. Well, it's called Yahoo bar. And you have to go... Mm-hmm. It's like it's like one of those... Actually, Yahoo might be pretty it hipster It goes at this down. Point. You have to go downstairs. It's like in an underground basement, Whoop. I guess. If you go pretty downstairs, hardcore, yeah. it's a death trap. There's no way people should be going downstairs when they're fucking drunk. Um, especially those stairs. They're well, really... stairs. St- well, exactly. But, you know, it's it's legendary for its $7 Mr. D's and vodka. Mr. D's is a local beverage. What? <laughs> What's in it? It's just like a... It's like a cola drink. But it's not Coke or it's not carbonated. Um, called Mr. D's. It's, it's you know, it's local. So Mr. D's and vodka, it's, you know, characteristics of that bar, you know, smoky, dark, the floor around the bar is incredibly sticky, people lose shoes to it, many a thong has died in that bar, um, and then there's like the... What? You can wear thongs in this place? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay, so this I is remember. this is just a dingy bar, yeah. Yeah, no, it's a place. No, uh, no half then... decent place will let you wear thongs inside. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, there's like the mainstream bar club called the deck um the deck the deck the deck it's you know it's one of those places it's like all the way along a balcony and there's like the fake like astro turf along the floor and (laughs) there's heaters and stuff and you know there's heaters this is pretty cool it's got heaters i know i don't know how to describe it anymore (laughs) i don't know it's shepherd and it's nothing special it's not it's not the old lawny dives that freaking uh (laughs) dylan frequents are there any nightclubs and shit uh, well, the deck's a nightclub. Yahoo's a nightclub. No, the Yahoo's not a nightclub because you can wear thongs in. Well, it's classed as a nightclub here. Absolute bullshit. No um, half decent nightclub is where you let. Look, the, you set the bar at a nightclub will not let anyone with thongs in. A more uh, a more esteemed <laughs> nightclub will not well, let you in unless you've got like dress shoes. I on. don't pay much attention to the rulings because I don't wear thongs out, so I don't know if they still do. I do exclusively. Sure, you don't. They, unless I can't. They, they do so. The only other, so like the deck is a nightclub and the other nightclub is called Bullion Bar, which you only go to if you're pretty like fucked already because you, you're not as scared of getting stabbed, which is quite frequent. And then there's also the local Irish bar, Flanagan's. Flanagan's? Flanagan's. You say Flanagan's? Flanagan's. Yeah, Flanagan's <laughs> Irish bar. There's a Flanagan's <laughs> Irish bar up here too. Is there? It's not a bar. Oh, really? It's I've got my Irish bar is called the Irish, <laughs> 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 and there's one in Hobart as well. So there you go. What's wrong with me going out, Dylan? You there's nothing wrong with you going out. I just wanted I wanted to know what the <laughs> ship the ship places were like and the details. No, you'll grow out of it. Will I? Yeah. I don't know. What do you do? I what used to do enjoy do going you? out, but I now fucking hate it. It's too just loud. Hang too out many and talk people. Shit. Hang out and talk shit. Like. I'm not going, like, I generally, it's, you know, go out Friday night and then Saturdays, just bevs with the boys watching movies, watching Maybe I don't enjoy doing it anymore because I'm not single. 
Mm. That's probably a big That's part of the That's another thing, the yeah. reason that you, you know, because you don't find, you know, as, you know, I'm a, I'm a charming looking man. Like I'm a, you know, I'm a, as I've been told by somebody recently, I am year five Neville Longbottom, apparently. <laughs> year five Neville Longbottom. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I was described at one point. <laughs> Can we can we please title this episode Year Five Level Long? Way? Sure, <laughs> remind me later. <laughs> but no, I recently got called Year Five Never Long Bottom, and by, whom? That, by a female lady. Oh, that means yeah. it counts, everyone. I know, right? <laughs> I know. And Year Five Never Long Bottom, you get away with it in public through the Tinder apps. Not so much. You can't be. You got to be funny. You know how hard it is to be funny in like text message form. No. If you saw if you saw my tweet from funny. my my night out on the weekend, my 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 love life is you fucking what? Piss off. <laughs> 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 um, in case anyone doesn't know this tweet, this girl starts talking to me and then randomly we're talking and then she's like, Have you seen that seen that new horror movie? I'm like, a quiet place? <laughs> She's like, yeah, oh my god, don't watch it. Like, no one speaks for the first 15 minutes of shit. I'm like, <laughs> cool, I'm just going to go. <laughs> was that the girl Bad that you're playing, uh, playing, playing pool with? Hey? Oh, no, no, this was, this was later. This was later. <laughs> we started at a bar. This was at the nightclub. I was like, what is wrong with you? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> I'm very easily turned off people if they say shit about <laughs> pop culture and shit. Like... <laughs> like you meet someone with five minutes and you kind of be like, what was the last, cu- what was the last couple of movies you watched? And then just, ju- I'll just judge their entire personality based on the answer they give me. <laughs> <laughs> be like, Bye Felicia. So if Ashley was a female, you wouldn't go out with him because he hasn't seen any <laughs> movies. No, he would get me because he could, he'd be like, I'd be like, Ash, no, answer, answer the question seriously, Ash. Let's, let's test it. What yeah, was the last, what was the last six. five movies you watched? Uh, Isle of Dogs, uh, Paths of Glory, which you can watch, listen to it, listen to us talk about and what do you want to watch this past Got week. Um, I watched Two Night Stand, which is a terrible rom-com. Uh, I watched Blockers and Ready Play One. I, 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 I fuck it. <laughs> can we go around? Can we go? Yeah. Can you do Nick next? I want to. Let's go around and see. All right. Nick, what was the last five yeah. movies, movies you watched? Oh, it'd be Paz of Glory, The Homesman. Um, what else did I watch? A Quiet Place, Death Heard of Stalin. Um, and probably Speed Racer before that. I mean, I'd be I'd be questioning at Speed Racer, but I did recently watch it. I'd be like, "That's kind of weird that you recently watched Speed Racer." I did too for a podcast. You want to check it? i oh, fuck Nick. Yeah, I'd fuck Nick. All right, you go, Karen. Um, that's where I get my heart broken. Um, so it was <laughs> Thor Ragnarok, Rocky One, Creed, Spider Man Two, and I think Lion King was the fifth. Yeah, line. No, I'd fuck you too. I'd fuck yeah. all these. Okay, good. these are all fuckable. Stay yeah. tuned for PAX coverage on our private Snapchat. <laughs> <laughs> Every Patreon sub is going to get access to our Snapchat. Mm. No, I, I just, I just wonder sometimes because, like, I have, I have a clear understanding of what my nightlife is like when I go out. You mm-hmm. know, so I do wonder what other people. And you know, Kieran, Kieran's like, I'm recently going out, and I can't help but wonder. I'm like, I wonder what, wonder what he does. His activity, you know. Like, how do you do it? Because not everyone goes to the nightclub does the same thing. A lot of people just sit at the bar. A lot of people, you know, hang out in the fucking chairs. People just hang out on the smoker's deck at my place a lot. So you gotta, you got to wonder what people's I'm not a, you plan know, of action is. I'm not, a, I'm, not, I'm not a dancer because that would make my dating life too easy. Make it too easy <laughs> if I broke out my <laughs> <those laughs> dance moves <laughs> too <laughs> regularly. <laughs> Uh-huh. You only have so much pipe. I like it. exactly. <laughs> There's only so much fiber to the premises that I can. So generally, it's just you know, you grab bevs and hang out with people. If you see somebody randomly at the table, you just go chill with them and hang out for the night. You know, you go with friends first. I didn't go by myself, by the way, because that sounded. I'm. Um, uh, have you ever been at a pl- nightclub or something? Fuck like no! Self? I'd never go by myself. That'd be the I worst. Have. It's interesting. Is it really? 
Yeah, yeah. So Sam cool. ditched me one night at like 12 p.m. and went home. And I was like, fuck this shit. And I stayed out to like 5 a.m. by myself. No, have you ever been, <laughs> have you ever like, <laughs> have you ever started by yourself? No, I've never started by myself. No, because that's fine. I wouldn't, I wouldn't start by myself. That would be the worst thing. Like, we started at a bar. Um, it was just like for a, a sh- someone's birthday or, you know, some something like that. And I was like, I'm going to go home. And I'm like, well, I don't have work or anything else happening tomorrow. So, And I've already drank enough to not care. So I'm see you later. Bye. It's just one of those things where I'm like, um, how like you see people around nightclubs and bars. Well, in Shep you do. Who have gone out by themselves and then they kind of like parasite. I know, heaps of people do it here. Too. Parasite it's like a normal attach activity. themselves to a group of people and you're like. How do you do that? You're just... It's not that normal because... Say, like... I mean, what's the hard, The hardest part is you just have three, four drinks by yourself at home and then you're probably good to do it. You can't do it sober. No. Fuck know? no. Definitely Like, not. the night the night I, I ditched Sam and went out, I was already, you know, several drinks in or whatever, and I just attached myself to random people I met. <laughs> it's fine. You did that at um, you did that at RTX Sydney as well. You attach yourselves to uh, Sam and Ben. That is true. <laughs> I was like, "Years are the cool kids here. Take me to some nightclubs." <laughs> and then they failed me. <laughs> Fucking Sam, piece of shit. Oh, I look too drunk to get in anywhere. <laughs> Fucking well, kids kid these days. Fucked. Take liquor better. <laughs> that kid looks fucked without. Like he looks fucked sober. He just looks stoned all the time. Like, I don't know just what he's smoking. all the time. If you're stoned all the time, Sam, that's okay. It's okay. If you're not, Did apply you any, mascara. Uh, hardcore, hardcore drug deals happen? Uh, I've seen a couple, actually. What makes not a drug hardcore. deal hardcore? Yeah, no, not I was just, hardcore. I don't know what it is. <laughs> not hardcore. Is it where someone I've gets stabbed or shot or something? Yeah, no, yeah. Um, Have you seen anyone get stabbed or shot in Shep? No, I think they have to sample the product for it to be hard. Oh, yeah, that's like some hard. That's no, how you know they're not a cop. They have, they have to sample the product off the blade of a knife. Like they cut yeah. into the bag. I mean, I, I saw a drug deal go down when I was out la, la, on the weekend, but that's not unnormal for what I've talked about. How much about. did it cost that you? in my life. Hey? I've, How much did it cost you? How much did it cost? I didn't, it wasn't for me. I'm oh. not, I can't say who it was for, obviously, but <laughs> it was someone <laughs> I was with. I, I, I walked, you know, there's been occasions where I've walked into, you know, the, the toilets just to take a leak, yep. and then I've immediately. I was on guard duty. I've immediately. <laughs> Not needed to take a leak because of the group of shady people that stood there having yeah. a heated discussion. Do you get sage fright, Kieran? No, no, I just don't want to be that guy <laughs> who, you know, there's this like intense. Yeah, you know, imagine a movie, you're right, you've got like two. You don't want to be collateral damage. Collateral damage, damage but also, you know, drug dealers are nice people, people. Like, once you get to know them. It's like the kid. It's like the kid in Spider-Man: Homecoming in the scene with Happy. You know, they're having a nice heart-to-heart no, I don't, moment. Because I haven't watched it for oh. ages, and oh, I forget the fucking fine. movie. They have you a nice heart-to-heart that? moment, and then the toilet flushes, and the kid randomly walks out awkwardly, washes his hands, and walks away. That would be oh. me, oh, and yeah. I'd get You'd, myself stabbed. If everything I've heard of Shepard and Shepard and the picture in my mind, I get is the slums in District Nine. Look, it's not it's pretty that close. Bad. It's not that bad. <laughs> Fuck off, Dylan. I play it up to be that bad, and it's really not. I love Less I problems. love Shep because even though I talk shit about it, it's so much better than where I used to live. All I know is that when whenever I went for my runs when I was there, everyone England. looked at me like I was fucking insane. <laughs> like it was the oddest thing to be doing around the city at all. Everyone just eyeballing me. Like, what well, are you doing? You looked weird, obviously. Did I? I don't know. I don't think it, so. How, it depends how lost you looked. I look. No, I didn't look lost at this point. I got lost on my way back, not on my way from. It's not, it's not hard to get lost when you're running away from something, aka your house. <laughs> Did you say when you're running away from something? Tony didn't do Forrest Gump. You just run away from ship altogether. Yeah, yeah. I just run back home across the water and yeah. everything. I'm that scared. Oh shit! <laughs> uh, what does that mean? Mom. Did everybody watch the videos of the Mark Zuckerberg testimony and crap? No. And I only how saw memes. clueless, how fucking clueless the senators were that were asking questions. Yeah. It was ridiculous. Like, one of them asked, oh, how are you going to, like, their first question was like, oh, is Facebook always going to be free? And he was like, yes, a part of Facebook will always be free. 
and then he's like, so how do you expect to keep running a, a company? Like, keep, like, you know, be financially sound as a company. And Mark Zuckerberg just goes, we run ads? And then, like, smiles? And it's just, of course you they You forgot to mention, do. we also sell your data. <laughs> <laughs> but it was just, you know, some of it was dodgy. Like, the stu- you know, he was trying to worm his, not worm his way out of, but just avoid stuff and be like, oh... I'm going to have to check that with my team. And be, and you're like, how do you not know that? You totally know that. You're just trying to avoid that question for now. Um, or somebody's like, can you see the data I have in WhatsApp? And he's like... He's Does like, WhatsApp no. even have anything to do with Facebook? No, nothing to do with Facebook. No. And the guys... And Zuckerberg's like, no, we got nothing to do with it. And the guy's no, like, no, no, no. But what I'm trying to ask is, can you find out the data... It's like, the, what? No, the, the WhatsApp is encrypted. No. People are just... <sighs> yeah. I enjoyed the video of pe- someone put uh, the social network score. I in. saw that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just sitting there, yeah. Yeah. That was pretty funny. It's pretty good. <laughs> I did like that one. <laughs> um, the So I watched A Quiet Place, finally, since we were talking oh. about it. And what, one... That, as was just mentioning it a couple of times then, I was wondering. Now, I could propose the question while trying to dodge spoilers because obviously I don't want to spoil the movie because it's in cinemas at the moment. But one thing that happened while I was watching it is as soon as it starts, well, within the first 20 minutes, I go, you're living in a stupid-ass place. <clears throat> you're, you're all living in a, a stupid-ass place because this is like slight spoilers, like first 15 minutes... No, it's not. It's in the fucking trailer. They just hint at it. The monsters can hear you, right? That's the whole thing. They have to keep quiet. But they, they'll pick up sounds that's above a certain level or whatever. So they're bats. They're, they're kind of bats or something, I, I guess. They, they, in the, at the start of the movie, you see, you see them come after someone really fast after they make a, a noise. Like They just appear out of nowhere. They run pretty fast. They'll get you real fast if you, if you make noise. And then they, introduce, they show you where the, the family lives. Middle of butt fuck nowhere. Um, quiet place. You know, there's no animals around to make noise. There's nothing to cover their tracks. And for the first while of the movie, I'm thinking, move somewhere where there's noise. Move somewhere. Where, why wouldn't you move somewhere where there is constantly environmental noise happening in the world? Now, without spoilers, <laughs> later in the movie, they show such a place. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, you're dumb as fuck. You and this is, uh, I, I might, I'm hoping to write a review for this. And this is one of my, my negatives about the movie is, you know, you're dumb as fuck. Now, as always, zombie apocalypse is fun to talk about. What would you do? Now, let's do. What would you do if you lived in a quiet place, post-apocalyptic world? Uh, for those that haven't seen the movie, these are the details that we get from the movie because they don't give us many. Monsters of some short sort show up. Obviously, start wreaking havoc, killing a lot of people. They have some sort of armor that makes them nearly indestructible from what we can gather. The information they, they, they show you within the first 15 minutes or so of the movie, like newspaper headlines type, type shit, you know, armor, what, where'd they come from, all this sort of shit. Um, they will pick up any noise above a certain level that isn't nature Ish. They don't really explain that within the first five minutes, there's like a newspaper flapping in the wind, which made me go, and it's really loud in the movie too, because it's, it's so quiet that it stands out, this newspaper flapping. And I'm like, why aren't they coming after that? Don't know. Maybe, maybe they've grown accustomed to going, that's not a, a real noise. That's not someone causing noise. So what would you do if you had to live in a world where you couldn't make noise? This happens tomorrow, mind you. The whole family uses sign language to speak in the movie. However, their daughter is deaf, so they kind of, I presume, all already knew how to yeah, to sign to before they go. But they go into the apocalypse, which, which kind of helps. None of us know how to sign language. What do you do tomorrow when when the, this sort of apocalypse happens? Will no. you survive a day? Because you don't know the information that you can't make noise yet. You know. Probably not. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah unlikely. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd just farting or die. Just from, I'd miss like randomly singing stuff. Are we, you know, are we at first, are we, 
so they they just rock up, mm-hmm. but like it's a situation where the rest of the world's you know they have to go through the whole population. Well, we at least know they're in a. Oh no, they, their news headlines show they're worldwide. I think so they're worldwide. They're but what I'm saying is not everybody has like instant fucking died. Like the actual. Yeah, I suppose they drop at, at the, certain places. Yeah, yeah. We're at the very beginning. All right, I'll, I'll give you a heads up. I'll make I'll make the scenario better. You're in a place where you've got a day's head up, heads up. Like this has happened in a city. Like say this has happened in Adelaide, because fuck Adelaide, <laughs> and the rest <laughs> of us have got heads up in our in our corresponding cities. You know, I'd you've got 24 hours. Go somewhere where there's a waterfall. There's a few decent waterfalls in the in the. Area? You're on the right. You're on the right track. <laughs> like I'd go somewhere with a waterfall or something that makes a fuck ton of noise all the time. Even better if the ca- if there's a cave behind the waterfall. Even fucking better because you go live in the cave with the waterfalls covering the entrance. You should be able to muffle like all sound through that. You're literally on exactly what I was thinking. Fifteen minutes into the movie, <laughs> I'm like, there are natural waterfalls and there are places that legit have caves near them or anything like that but even if you can't build uh or go into a cave you just go there and you start building over time a uh, settlement of some yeah. sort there i go uh, and find all the tom jones records i can find <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's just <laughs> yeah that's the way to kill all <laughs> monsters <laughs> tom jones you just take a caravan you would just take a caravan. We can't take a caravan because the car, the cars make noise. But I've got a day. How do they determine what's what noise you're making and what noise is this ambient noise? Yeah, that's what that was another issue I had with the movie because it's very, it's very what it, the answer to that question is whatever the director felt like. Yeah. So the the rules weren't very very solid as to, to what happens. Well, I can't... I mean, this is a completely different discussion about the movie itself, but we're, we're saying in a world, I'm saying, for the rules of this discussion, that they learn over time. They, they kind of adapt to what is ambient and what is not ambient noise. Yeah. First thing I do is not live somewhere with floorboards. <laughs> That's a very good idea. That seems, like a real, that seems like a really silly thing you do and definitely not a joke <laughs> at this movie. <laughs> <laughs> Ash, I just Ash. go buy soundproofing. Yeah, that, that's another thing. Ash, what would you do tomorrow? It's I happening. Know. Get on a boat. I don't know. Can they swim? That's, uh, yes, they can. Yes, they can swim. I guess you get on a boat and you lock the door. You get one of the ones with like a. They'll break through. You lock yourself. They're strong in. as fuck. They'll fuck you up. But how are they going to hear you over the waves and stuff? Uh, I suppose that's a good that's a good point but how how are you going to yeah. survive out there in the middle of fuck nowhere yeah. <laughs> figure it out <laughs> fish I didn't think how that far fishing Ash yeah yeah Ashley just Guess becomes we'll buff out. with like long hair it's like spear fishing sharks in the middle of the sea just what? yeah I could uh, turn to Aquaman yeah. I'd love to see that that'd be awesome I want <laughs> if somebody who's listening who can draw draw me Ashley as a buff man Ashley draw me Ashley, Ashley. Buff man. <laughs> can dream. Yeah, what are you saying? Ash is buff as. I've seen him topless. He's swole. Buff You're ring swole, as son. Swole. Swole. Mm. I don't understand the like where that word even came from, as a swole? side note. Swam. Yeah. Yeah, but it's so weird. You know, I understand that it's swollen, but it just seems like a yeah. weird description to use for... You look so muscular, it looks like you've been stung by bees all over. It's because your muscles swell after you get a pump on. Exactly, yeah, no, but it's like you look so swollen, like you've been stung by a bee. <laughs> yes, but words, meanings well, of good. words change over time. And people say it like it's hot. Man, you look swole. You look, swole. You look so swole right now. And every time I hear it, I just go, that word, this sounds disgusting. I don't like it at all. It's one of those <clears> words. You know, there's certain words that your mind, even if they're not bad. Moist. Yes, but moist I don't have fine. a problem with moist. I'm, I, I'm fine with moist, but. A lot of people have a problem with moist. Yeah, 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 I, I, know, I think but... moist is fine. Like, you know, moist is a normal. See, word. I hear the word moist, I think of the word cake. Whereas a lot of people hear the word moist and they think of uh, <laughs> sexual objects. <laughs> with going back to your movie, to this movie, Dylan, or yes, just, yes. Do, you, do you all. Do you prefer movies that 
treat you as an intelligence audience member or that go in with hoping that you will suspend your like, disbelief your disbelief for a while because um, I feel like yeah depends I on the struggle movie. in movies sometimes that want that hope me that want me to dispense disbelief and I'm just like I can't I can't this do it. this too- particular movie was trying to be a very serious uh, post-apocalyptic monster movie or whatever and although I seem to be talking really down on it I did really quite enjoy it there are just some nitpicky things um, however, I'm also a known fanatic, big fan of the Fast and Furious franchise, which is a franchise that doesn't expect you to take it seriously. And so when you don't take it seriously, you don't have to feel bad because it's yeah. not asking you to. It knows how ridiculous it is at all stages. So you don't have to feel bad for going, that's unrealistic. Those cars wouldn't be able to land with power. Shit. Of course they fucking can't. That's not the, that's, it's, it's <laughs> ridiculous, but that's the point of the movie. So it depends, depends on the movie. Um, Nick, what was your what was your quiet place cinema experience like? It was good. You hadn't. Did you have any? How many people were in there? Do you reckon? Uh, was the cinema between fifteen place? and thirty? Okay. Yeah, I think I had between. Yeah, I'd say I had between. Yeah, twenty to thirty. I'd say. How was yours? I had two people walk out in the first fifteen oh, minutes. Too quiet. No dialogue. Really. <laughs> Oh my God. I, I think they were legit like, I'm bored, I'm leaving. I think. Because they, they did the whole, I heard like a grunt, you know, like, ugh, like from the background, like a, ugh. and then a, like five minutes later, they got up and they walked down the stairs with like huge thum, 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 thum down out of the cinema. Like it was a, a really Fair bad enough experience. enough enjoying it, but don't ruin it for everyone else. Yeah, they're just being assholes. They, I've literally never no. walked out of a movie. Never have I, not once I paid for it. I've stopped watching movies and fallen asleep in movies at home that I didn't like. Um, I was watching, was it Will Smith one with Focus. Margot Robbie? Um, oh, um, Focus. Yeah, Focus, yeah, so yeah. I was watching Focus and I stopped watching it because I thought it was absolute dog shit. But that was at home. If I was in the cinema, I would have seen it I would have seen it through just because I'd paid more money for it. You paid That's money for it though. and you need yeah. to write a review. I did write a review out of fo- for Focus, actually, because I was so pissed off. Well, how can you write a review if <laughs> like, you didn't watch the whole thing? How, yeah, exactly. What? How could you write a review if you hadn't watched the whole thing? Well, I opened with my opening paragraph and said, admittedly, I left this movie with 35 minutes to go. So take what I so say. you didn't with, review the whole movie. Okay. You reviewed up to... Yeah, yeah, yeah technically. Yeah, up yeah. to the last up to a certain point. Minutes. Where point, everybody, yeah. other reviewers, like, the last 35 minutes was fucking I, amazing. I feel like that's no different than people who review video games and say, I hated this, I stopped after 10 hours. What's, like, what's the difference? There Movies no difference. are designed to do in one sitting. Yeah. So? Yeah, but if you think it's so bad, so bad, which I thought Focus was so boring and so bad that I couldn't sit through the last third of it. Look, at the end of the day, a review is an opinion and no opinion is wrong. Mm, some opinions are wrong. I agree. No. Well, no, not for movie reviews yeah. and stuff, I don't see. It's like some re- some opinions are wrong. I don't like black people. <laughs> Your opinion's wrong. I don't like gay people. Your opinion's wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? That They're just general. That's where I'm like, your opinion is straight up wrong. So linking it all back together, was the chick in the nightclub's opinion wrong? <laughs> Uh, yeah, she was she was um, a horrible person. <laughs> she was she was mildly attractive too, which made it even sadder, you know. <laughs> Do you just pour one out? You just, you like, just pour can't some win. Of your drink out, just pour one out for the loss. I just pour one out for for myself. Like <laughs> my dick was like, I fucking hate Damn you. Damn conscience. <laughs> <laughs> just. Just, just can't do it, you know. Just can't do it. You should have no. You should have had like had sex with her, but during sex, like signed language, all the, all the moans. You know what the they class. say, Karen? Like the brain is the sexiest part of the body, and hers was not that <laughs> all attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that what they make podcasts for? Yeah, that's the only way I'm going to pick up. Listen to top five with Nick while you're doing the deed, while you're laying the fiber. I've heard it's good, good ambience for the, uh, for the for situation. The fucking. <laughs> 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 
some cats like to sl- listen to hot slow blues or some sexy funk town. <laughs> Me, myself, top five with Nick, season one's how I get down. <laughs> Tell you what, it really throws a twist in there when you hear that um, a charging dog is a peripheral. Dylan's listening. Dylan's listening. It's his second wind from hearing it. Sustains himself off Nick's confusion. (laughs) I'm going to come. I'm going to. I'm going to. I'm good. I'm good. Did you just say in that podcast? A charging jock. Yeah, it's a peripheral. (laughs) It's a guaranteed finisher because after it, you so immediately want to tweet Dylan and say that he's wrong. (laughs) (laughs) Let's get this over. We've got more important shit to do. Uh, Well... Yep, I don't. I, I don't know where you could take the podcast from here. Honestly, I mean that's kind of. The... <laughs> We've reached the pinnacle. This has been the last episode of Pleasure Explosion. Oh, thanks um, for letting me host this week, Tom. I'm. I if I hope you're listening. This is a great one. It's. Uh, it was an honor. It's like the captain of the Titanic gave his second mate the keys. I don't. I feel like that was the problem voyage. with the Titanic in the first place. No, the iceberg was a problem. No, the captain went down. <laughs> that is true. It was a problem. <laughs> Hey, the iceberg was his own natural habitat. You can't blame it for what happened. Is it a habitat? Were things living on that iceberg? No. Penguins. The ocean no, is the iceberg's were. habitat. By the way, side note, to penguins, I put out our best tweet today. Mm. Well, I read Penguin. it. I was quite yeah. confused for a little bit best and then I strong. understood. That is my best that is my best original content on that That's on that yeah. uh, no, I don't I don't quite I don't agree. I was quite proud of that tweet, though, to be honest. How long did it take you to do that tweet? Oh, only a couple of minutes. It just came to my head, and I was like, that's funny, so I'll tweet it. <laughs> <laughs> As Ricky Gervais says. Also, I know Tom's on Tom's on here talking about, uh, to, to voice my Humanity. opinion on that fucking thing, shit, shit, shit special. Whoa. Absolute shit. <laughs> just to get an opposing view on here, shit house. Why? And I'm a big Ricky Gervais fan, but that was shit. Sorry. I haven't watched it. It's terrible. I didn't laugh once. And I own all of his other stand-up specials on DVD. I've been watching them since he had the second one out. I've been li- watching him and whatever since then. Used to listen to his podcast, everything. That stand-up special was trash. Reused jokes, easy material, went on too long about stuff. Not funny. I've watched millions of better stand-up in the last couple of years than that. You've watched Sorry, millions of stand-ups. Millions and trillions I've watched, uh. Nicholas. Millions and... Trillions and millions. I like right, absolute trash. Might be a bit far, but I was just being <laughs> hyperbolic. <laughs> how's the? Can we get an update? How's your? Uh, how's everybody's Bitcoin farming going at the moment? Uh, I've turned my four into four still, which is good. Oh, that's good. That's a good. Price. I haven't gone down, which is the important thing. No, good, good, good. How about you, Nick? Uh, they're going good. I'm about to get uh, murdered for. Do I want to know? <laughs> if if you get too many and up me too far, I'll feel obligated to to swing you back. Should... Oh, that's you know. <laughs> <laughs> I just think I'm excited for the day that you know maybe Nick has a little Nick, and little Nick comes of age, and Nick's like, oh, time for your trust fund. Pause like, yeah, pause the first, Bitcoin to do <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, by the time Bevancoin will be uh, uh Bevancoin will be huge. We'll make Bitcoin millions off Bevancoin. That was like one of the quickest and best Photoshop jobs I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> Just drag that picture onto that, but it works perfectly, yeah. It does. Oh, Bevan picture. Bevancoin, Bevan get in on Bevan. the ground floor, you won't regret it. No. It'll do a lot better than Bitcoin, mm. that's for sure. Mm. More stable, less spoilers. There you go. Less spoilers. Less spoilers this, than Bitcoin. This, this is true. Um, talking about TV shows, so I can do a little bit of a plug. We wasn't talking about TV shows, but I can pretend we was. Uh, <laughs> why Why doesn't anyone else here watch Westworld? I know. I, I just haven't finished season Too one. Too intellectual yeah. for him. You dumb I've, I'm intrigued. To, I'm going to finish season one before season two comes out. But mm-hmm. Season two starts this week. You can watch oh, Bevan. Shit, you can watch Bevan. Hold on. Yeah, next week. It starts on. This comes out Thursday. It's out the Monday. 
Uh, you can watch our uh, review weekly show called Bevan World live on Twitch.tv. Jeez, Bevan's taken over the world. On, He's got coins, on, his own show. On, it, doesn't, it doesn't have a certain day. Follow Twitter, at ExplosionPod. We'll Is tell it you gonna when be, it goes Does live. it have a certain time of day that it's going to be on? Nope. No, no. 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 It'll, go, it'll be whenever me and Nick are free, which is exactly how we did. Uh, well, no, to be fair, viewing that's gods. how we did South of King's Landing and America um, viewing gods as well. So, but those weren't live shows, were they? No, they weren't. This is going to be a live Twitch show. How do people know yeah, when so. to tune in? Notifications. I'll tweet it. Turn on their yeah. notifications, and then they can how watch the archive. Know, how do people have... know when you're live? You forget to tweet when you're live. Fucking nine times out of ten. <laughs> 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 oh. Ooh. You know what, Dylan? You guys are going to, you know. It's just, it's been harsh this last week. We've had a good week, but Dylan's been quick on the venom. Dylan and Ashley have just been. Ash has been a lot better than me, I think. Just quick yeah. on the quick on the back hits, you know. I'm innocent. That's a fresh week. Yeah, so actually, really. I'm ahead because it's Monday today. It is Monday. You got, you got the first one in. Tune in to early <laughs> later. Anyone else here a more. watched the other show? I can recommend that everyone should go watch the first season of before the second season starts um, in a couple weeks' time. The Handmaid's Tale. Mm. Yeah, that was my mm. that was my number two show last year, I think. Anyway, oh, everyone should go watch Altered Carbon. Everyone should go watch The Handmaid's Tale. Altered Carbon. I should watch You're that. The second person within space, like an though. hour of me being told to watch Altered Carbon. So, because here's the thing: they put up Lost Space, Lo- Lost yep. in Space, right? Does not interest me. I I was a big fan of that when I was a kid. I had the fucking toy of the the main robot. What the show or the movie? Of the show or the movie remake? The the remake, sorry, because obviously I wasn't. I'm not that old. Um, the remake, the ninety whatever yeah. one, ninety nine something. Um, and my my best friend in kindergarten prep, I had, uh, he was a rich kid, and I went to his house once, and he had all the toys that were out. And by rich kid, I mean he basically lived in a fucking mansion, and um, he had all the toys, and I was so jealous. I was like, you've got you've got the kid and the doctor and whatever else. But every time I read reviews for this show, everyone's like. It's typical. It's just, it's just seven out of ten space story. If you want to watch something on sp- that's space related on Netflix, just go watch Star Trek or Altered Carbon, or something. Or sci-fi related. I mean, Altered Carbon yeah. or Star the Expanse. Trek. Also, go watch that. Ash is like, I just binge this shit. Yeah, Shut I'd say that's up. accurate. Seven, <laughs> seven's fair. There you, go. <laughs> you did, you did, did really well to when defend did it. Seven become a mess score. Like, I feel nowadays seven is not a... No, seven is a, se- seven on the general people scale is six is considered bad to most people um, and eight is considered good. So seven on the, the general popular scale is... Eh. It's enjoyable. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, Slightly excuse the old... Uh, no, it's a nice system. orgasm. No. I, yes. I it's not the Explosion no. Network review scale. <laughs> what was the last thing you gave, like, a... One or two. Um, the last thing I gave one point five two was yoga hoses. <laughs> Wrong. Yes. It, no. Yeah. It should have been lower in my opinion. I think I gave it a four. No, it was fucking garbage. <laughs> oh, it's bad. absolute garbage. But there's too many in jokes um, and stuff that I d- I did not enjoy that I enjoyed to. To, to rate it. No, even the in-jokes were too forced and didn't have a place. Look, too Absolute many in-jokes in, in content can both enhance it and ruin it in many places. And really oh, no, it ruined it. I said I gave it a four. I'm not, I'm not really defending. I'm defending a one versus a four here. It's a, it's a very low bowl. <laughs> it's a low bowl argument. What was the last thing I gave a really low score? So I can't remember the last time I gave something that low of Sir a score. Sir eats a lot. Sir eats a lot. I gave a five or a 5.5 or whatever I gave it. So that's probably the lowest thing I've reviewed in ages, yeah. Long live the Vita. Explosionnetwork.com slash reviews to read that thing. And then go play Reverie I think, <laughs> maybe. And then go, yeah, no, no, no. I, I, mean, I like, it's so, I feel so bad. I saw, because it's, so I saw this uh, uh, thing on Twitter the other week and it was, should you feel bad for like reviewing a game and shitting on it? To which my answer was, as long as you're shitting on the product, not the... The people behind it, then I th- I think it's yeah. it's fine. Like if you, if you want to be a reviewer in games or movies or books or what have you, you got to have you got to have the ability to, to to be able to speak your mind and not be afraid of. I don't I don't want to upset the people that make it. 
I don't want to upset them because if you're going to worry about that or oh, if I upset them, then maybe they won't send me a code for their next game. Then you shouldn't be reviewing stuff is how I feel. You know what? That robot from Lost in Space movie, I had that toy too. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a good toy. Yeah. To stand out. That, that was a cool design. I just looked it, it up. It is a cool design. Remember it. What was so cool I'm about not- the toy? I said the design of the robot was cool. Like, but the like toy just was just the a toy. Was the just toy, toy, its head gl- glowed, yeah. I think. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, you like switch head. it on and off? Oh, when you turn things on and off. Mm. Look, I know you're the youngest here and you grew up with a fucking Game Boy SP or like backflip action mans or whatever the hell you had, but some of us. <laughs> <laughs> I had Power Rangers. Yes, and Power Rangers in season and... 20. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, they were mighty Z warriors or whatever it's called. They were mighty morphin. Tommy's my boy. Reruns. Screw you all. Yeah, probably. Reruns. I think it definitely was reruns. <laughs> but Tommy was my boy. <coughs> yeah, Tommy. Joe, you know I realized recently, and it made me it made me both sad and happy at the same time. So, look, pro- no, I don't think I don't know if I've said it. So. When I was a kid, I used to love Barney the Dinosaur. Mm. It used to be my shit. Still is. What up, Barney? You're a home dog. My brother also loved Barney. But He's my parents had to turn the TV off or turn change the channel or the DVD or the video or whatever before it got to the, the goodbye song or I would just start crying because Barney was leaving and I didn't oh want Barney God. to leave. Because you're a little baby. Do you still <laughs> cry? Can I... Uh, talking about TV shows, as we head towards wrapping up here, I need to, I need to ask everyone a question, and I know a- Ash got it. So in my um in my Sir Eats a Lot review, I said that he controlled like HR Puff and stuff, uh, trying to leapfrog <laughs> like Frogger yep. or something along those lines. That was my description. Ash then goes, I don't think many people are going to get your reference about HR Puff and stuff. I asked someone at work, do you know who HR Puff and stuff is? No, Nick. Do you know who HR Puff and Stuff is? I know he is, but I've never watched anything about him. HR Puff and Stuff. That and really? Barney. I never watched Barney either. Da, da, da. Kieran, yeah. do you know who HR Puff and Stuff is? Uh, no. No idea. Not an English thing, obviously. All right, as the only person who has heard of HR Puff and Stuff, did you did you watch it I, I as did. a kid? No, I th- don't know if I actually watched Ash was already like 25 probably when HR Puff and stuff happened. No, 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 because no, it's, it's really like fucking old. I mean, it's like Ashley is really yeah, so Ashley no, was probably 25. Ashley was no, no, probably I mean, 25 on, uh, at the on Nick time. at Night. So after Nickelodeon programming at like 7 o'clock or something would finish. And yeah, that was probably reruns. reruns. They'd show reruns of Nick at Night and Gilligan's Island yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah, when he was, yeah. What do you think I of it? usually change the channel by the time it started. <laughs> yeah. It's a weird show. So it's about like this kid who comes from memory, I can't remember it all. It's this kid who comes to this island via boat or something and he meets this dragon, which is HR Puff and stuff. He just puffs and And then stuff. there's uh, a witch. Yeah, yeah, he puffs <laughs> and stuff. <laughs> what does he puff? Uh, you don't want the kid. And then <laughs> he, there's, a, <laughs> there's a witch on the island and her name was uh, Witchy Poo. <laughs> You're like, Dylan, I don't know how you remember this much. I used to watch it quite a lot. Or I think I had one VHS with four episodes and I watched those four episodes quite a lot because that's all I had. Anyway, wrapping up Pleasure Explosion today. <laughs> Thanks for joining us, everyone. Uh, follow Ash, me on Twitter and Ashley Hobley, A-S-H-L-E-Y-H-O-B-L-E-Y. It's a thing. Karen, where can people follow you? People can follow me at your boy Ringo on Twitter. Okay, calm down. Nick, where can people follow you? You can follow me at your boy Ringo on Twitter. Yeah, boy. Got him. So the most disappointing thing about when Kieran did his is I was trying to take a swig of my drink. but You he were, said it so and I fast. did it so fast on purpose. I, d- I well. didn't actually get to have a swig. <laughs> <laughs> so so disappointing. Now I've got to this wait until I wrap up this drink show. trying to while I talk. <laughs> <laughs> you can follow me on Twitter at VivaLadil, V-I-V-A-L-A-D-I-L. You can follow Explosion Network on Twitter at ExplosionPod. You can head to iTunes and rate this show five stars or HR Puff and Stuff and Puff and Stuff and blow your house down. You naughty kids and soldiers and all of you better do right you can head to explosionnetwork.com read all the reviews that we've mentioned you can check out other podcasts that have been mentioned this show like what do you want to watch and top five. i think that's the only top one five. we mentioned but there's so many there's, download there's, there's top five, top five we mentioned also <laughs> have I sex early mm. late nights no the episode Did that you? came out yesterday is top five fps's with Jack. i know Cruz. that guy of the night late bit nation mm. hashtag stay sober 
Also, enjoy the game tomorrow that's based off my likeness. Oh, that's right. God of War's out today. Well, God of War is out. Speaking oh of God word. of War, no, do people have like 24 game. hours to enter a competition to win a copy of God of War? Oh, that's right. You can go to Facebook or Twitter and see the link. Gleam.com slash something. Twi- explosion. <laughs> you'll probably have like f- 38 ways to enter if you haven't already entered. 38 left. 38. That's that's lots of numbers. Yeah. And you can win a copy of God of War, the fantastic PS4 game. I'm assuming it's fantastic. Maybe I'll hate it. Only Maybe I'll sign the cover for you if you want me to. That's true. Only Australia or New Zealand. All these people on Twitter who are just searching for hashtag competitions or hashtag gleam and entering it, y'all dumb motherfuckers and aren't even hearing this because you're probably bots. 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 Have, have, have a wonderful From- night. Thank you for listening and don't forget to fuck the top five and think of me. Remember to always lay that pot. Ad read, April 2018, take five. Hey, listener, if you're not listening to the Tales of Theldon yet, you should be. It's a D&D audio drama, more easily described as D&D light. The focus is telling a fun story and cutting out too much of the fiddly D&D details that could confuse or bore the uninformed. It features Kieran, Dylan, Ash and Tom, and you'll be in for some laughs and good adventure. Give the first episode a listen today and see if it's for you. Explosion Network Bulletin Board. Pleasure Explosion is now Thursdays at 12pm Australian Eastern Standard Time. Thank God daylight it's over. With Tom hosting the free-flowing conversation and make sure you check out if you found the old format too much. Reacts and review discussions officially lift off on Twitch, so make sure you follow our Twitter at ExplosionPod and twitch.tv slash Explosion Network to keep up when they are live. You'll also find them at bit.ly slash Explosion Network on our YouTube 24 hours later. Did anybody else notice that Dylan had a stroke like halfway through the outro? No. It was a weird moment. I feel like I have a stroke most of the time when I'm trying to speak and I get going too fast. But blah, 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 blah. Like a, a motorbike when it's stuck between gears and you haven't got your L license yet. Ding, 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 